Hey guys, Wes Rice from Rice Claire Networks here. Um, I wanted to do a follow up video because I got some feedback on the last video we did and um, that, that video featured the BC21 clarinet from Buffet which if you didn't see the video you should check it out. Um, I'll go a little bit more in depth about the instrument but real quick just a, a quick overview of the instrument. It is a really nice clarinet, high quality. Um, in terms of the level of price it's kind of similar to a Tosca or a Devine clarinet from Buffet um, and it's really innovative and kind of unique uh, from all their other instruments because it actually goes down instead of like a normal clarinet that goes down to a low E it actually has this low E flat uh, that it goes down to so it's really cool um, so not only can you play a little bit lower than you can with any other clarinet um, but it actually beefs up the lower joint and the sound and resonance of those lower notes so it sounds really good in that register even if you're not playing that lower note so um, and then another quick update, I got a, um, a phone call from someone at Buffet, from Al, and this is the bag that I showed in the last video that it came with. Apparently there's like a super nice high quality leather bag that it's going to come with, um, and I guess that it was back ordered or something like that. So anyway, they're shipping them with this now, but for anyone who buys one of these instruments, um, it's actually going to come with a really nice leather bag that we'll just ship out separately or Buffet will send directly to you. So that's just one of the, the differences based on the last video. Um, but anyway, like I was saying, I got some feedback on the last video and people were a little curious about one of the other functions of this extra E flat key. And of course, it can be used to play a low E flat, but one of the other cool things is it can actually be used to play a B flat in the middle of the staff. So for those of you who aren't experts in clarinet, you can play the B flat a couple of ways. You, so you can play it one way is like this. The drawback of that, of course, is it tends to be a little thinner sounding. So what most people do is if they have a fast passage um, where they don't have time to get to the alternate fingering, they'll play that. Now, if you do have time to get to it, if you have like kind of an extended held note, maybe like you know a half note or a whole note or something. Uh, what people tend to do is they play the alternate fingering. So instead of this, they'll take off the register key and add the second to top trill. And that one sounds really, really good, especially if you, you know, add some resonance fingerings or something like that. Um, now, this allows you to play it a third way, which is really cool. So it allows you to play it all, you know, all fingers down with the register key and then also playing this low E flat. So. Um, I'll play it for you guys, and one of the uh, the benefits to doing it this way is if you have like a really fast passage that might go chromatically or something from like a B to a B flat, instead of going all fingers down and then almost no fingers down and going back and forth like that, you can simply just trill over here. So it's kind of a way to be able to play uh, B to B flat or even like C to B flat or, I mean, really any combination of notes. If you want to play it that way, it's just another option. So let me play it for you guys and you can, you can hear the difference. So I'll just play chromatically down uh, C, B, B flat using this new fingering. Then I'll play it uh, the traditional way with this fingering, which is traditionally the worst sounding fingering. Now, it doesn't sound bad that way. I mean, this instrument's really nice in that that fingering actually sounds pretty good. So, you know, I really think the real benefit of this is just like if you have some sort of tricky passage where it's easier to play it this way as opposed to lifting all your fingers. Uh, that would be the benefit of doing it that way. But let me play uh, this new note, the, the third way of playing it, versus what I think is like the traditional best sounding uh, fingering of that B flat on the clarinet. So. so you can hear that um, the, the alternate fingering here was a little bit on the sharp side, so I did have to bring that down. Um, I did add a couple of resonance fingerings. There might even be a little bit of a better resonance fingering for that to bring it down. But I think on this instrument and especially on other instruments, that's going to be your best bet when you're playing a long held note. Um, this one here, the new one, what I'm calling like the third way, um, it sounds good, but it definitely does not sound as good as this one here. So 
that's pretty much it um, in terms of what you guys are wanting to see on this instrument. But but again, it kind of does make it really unique in that you you know you can play that extra note. Uh, you know, you can play it three ways. You can play the B flat three ways, which is nice, and then you can also play an extended range down. And one other thing I didn't cover in the last video, one of the reasons um, you would want to play that extra note is, let's say, if you were playing in an orchestra and you had a low E on an A clarinet. Well, you couldn't transpose that to a B flat clarinet, and in some pieces, you have a lot of switches very quickly. Um, and so sometimes there's a benefit to just continuing to play on your B-flat clarinet if it's just a short snippet um, as opposed to playing on your B-flat very quickly switching to the A potentially playing down to that low E on the A which on the B-flat would be a low E-flat um, so it just gives you a little more flexibility because you can play the entire range of an A clarinet on the B-flat clarinet of course you have to transpose um, but it just gives you a little bit, a bit of a benefit a little bit of flexibility you may not have to switch instruments, which is a benefit. Now, of course, when composers write for an A clarinet, there is a reason because they want something a little deeper, but one of the other reasons could be that this B-flat clarinet just doesn't play low enough, and they want that little extra bit of range with an A clarinet. So there's a couple reasons why they would want it, uh, but this kind of can solve a problem for you of not having to switch potentially. So, so anyway, um, you know, again, I really like this clarinet. We just finished setting it up. Um, we have one more to set up. Um, you know, if, again, if you haven't watched the last video, watch it. But basically, uh, we've got some of the first ones in America here at Rice Clarinet Networks. And if you're interested in trying them, we can send them out for trial. Or uh, if you're, you're interested in stopping by the shop, we can certainly arrange that as well. And even if you're not in the market for a clarinet and you just want to try them, feel free to stop by because we'd be happy to have you. This is a very unique instrument. Um, depending on how they sell, we will probably continue to stock them. So we'll still we'll have them you know, in perpetuity, basically. Um, but they're a really, really great option for the, the reasons that I mentioned. Um, you know, and I'd be happy to have you guys here to play them. So uh, check out our website. We're at clarinetworks.com. Again, I'm Wes Rice. Thanks for watching this video, and if you have any questions, just type them uh, below in the comment section, and I'd be happy to either do another video or reach out to you if you want to send me a message. So, thanks for watching.